Welcome guys, uh, my name is Mohammad Kashif and I am an electrical engineer and I have a uh, 16 plus of year experience in substation automation systems and I have been a trainer in uh, overseas in Saudi Arabia in, I have a training from Germany, I have a lot of trainings in Pakistan as well uh, I found that subject of electrical control and production drawing is you will hardly find any book on it so this is normally coming by experience so what I'm doing now, I'm trying to create a course uh, right from the scratch. So if anyone have, don't have any knowledge, prior knowledge, even uh, uh, using my course, uh, he can understand and learn the drawing easily. I will be releasing my course in the parts. So anyone interested, based on his capability, he can choose the part and start uh, studying uh, accordingly. So this is part one and this is uh, from very basic level so even if you don't know about this uh, simple and basic very basic concept of production so you can start uh, taking this part one so we will be starting with electrical symbols and then i will explaining you with electrical symbols then i will explaining you ic course for the devices this is also very important what does it mean introduction to common devices i will explain uh, in advance so that you can be uh, familiar with the major devices that are coming in the drawing uh, i have also included a drawing in in this lecture that you can take it and study at your own this how you can practice okay then i have how i have shown how page is divided in column and rows how you can track and how what what's the address of the any specific device in the drawing how addressing is done cross referencing uh, i have explained how the cross references are created uh, internal and external wiring how it is done uh, then i have uh, from very basic i have started to explain you front sheet how and what you can read from this front sheet then i i have uh, just explained a little bit about the drawing and revision numbers then I have explained how you can uh, take the list of document, how you can read the list of operators. This is also very important if you if you're doing maintenance because all the codes are mentioned in it, ordering code I mean. Then there is a symbol list. Uh, then in the Z sheet, I have shown how you can track different equipments and you can uh, check the list and full detail of each item. I have explained general characteristics this is also very interesting what information you can find in it and uh, one information how ferrules are marked this is also very important and another topic i have mentioned here is what is a loop loop uh, for protection engineer special terminology that you should know and further i have explained ac and dc loops then i have further explained loop supervision really and further i have explained normally open and normally close contacts change over contacts so this is all about part one so soon i will be releasing part two so for the basic uh, any anyone who want to start from the very basic level they can uh, yeah, take my part one thank you very much uh, and i will suggest really to uh, take this training this will be a baseline and until i will be releasing in couple of days my second lecture thank you very much